Hey guys, have you been away camping in this really hot weather lately and found that your fridge inside your caravan can't quite keep up with the outdoor temperatures? Here's a couple of tips on how to make it a bit better and more efficient for your fridge. So first of all, this vent down the bottom here, that's where air is meant to flow in to cool the compressor and the other components on the back of the fridge. And then as that air inside the, inside the cavity, inside the van, warms up, it naturally flows out this top vent. Um, and then on the right hand side of your top vent is the exhaust for when you're running your fridge on gas. All the exhaust gases come out. So the only thing making the air, the hot air, come out from behind the fridge is the temperature inside the air itself rising and coming out that top vent. So the first step you could take to try and reduce the temperature behind your fridge, which in effect makes the fridge more, more efficient, is this, uh, this grill here that's over the exhaust vent. That comes out like so, and that allows the exhaust gases off your fridge, when it's running on gas, to uh, expel a lot more efficiently, therefore reducing the temperature behind your fridge. The second step that you can go to, to keep the, the fridge cool so it can run more effectively, is to have this side of the van in shade. That's what I've got here at the moment. It's in the shade. Or if that wasn't possible, you could have an awning or a sun, like a sunshade, um, coming off this side of the van down to the ground, just to keep this area in the shade. Keep it as cool as possible. If you can keep this cool, your fridge will run much more effectively. But there is another way. And uh, I came across this online, and I thought it was a nifty way of, of doing it. So uh, I'll show you what I did to make mine even more effective. And since I've done this, I've been away in 40 plus degrees um, temperatures. Even the other day it was up to 45, and my fridge inside was still running extremely effectively. And I have it set on about, about four most of the time. The freezer stuff is frozen, the fridge compartment is cold, and it is no dramas at all. The temperature really does not alter inside the fridge, um, even though the outside temperature is getting so hot. So uh, I'll show you what I did. So you might notice here in the middle of this vent, this little blue light. Well, that's not standard on anyone's van that hasn't done this modification. So if I pull this vent out and show you, just unclips like so. And on the back of here, I've mounted two electric fans, little 12 volt fans. Now what they're doing is when the uh, compressor on the fridge warms up, and gets above a certain temperature, these two little fans kick in and they start sucking the air out of that void and pushing it outside. So the little blue light on the outside shows me that the fans are operating, even though if you put your hand over the vent you can, you can feel the air coming out and you can, might be able to hear it. It makes a very, very small noise. Um, you certainly can't hear it inside when you're sleeping or anything, but uh, yeah. So the little blue light shows the fans are operating and then if it gets, if it sucks the air out and it drops down to uh, a better operating temperature for the fridge, the fans will switch themselves off. They've got a little thermocouple in there and that little blue light would go off. If you're interested in making this modification to your van, go online and search for Caravan Fridge Fan Kit and the kit I got had everything in it from instructions on how to fit it and install it. It was very, very simple. So, uh, and it has made a world of difference to our summer camping in the caravan because extracting that heat out from around the compressor has made the fridge run much more efficiently. So check it out and see how you go.